So guys, finally we have got the ICP Android iSchool project 12.1 running Android no good 7.1.2 on our Galaxy S5 and today I'm going to review this and the installation process will be in the end of the video. So let's start without wasting more time. So the AICP is one of the oldest uh, USP based ROMs and now we are finally getting it running 7.1.2 on our Galaxy S5 and now let's move to the settings to check which version it's running it is running the latest android version 7.1.2 latest aicp version 12.1 and latest security patch which is the july 5 security patch really awesome like uh, we are running all latest on s5 devices a three year old device also we have the selenex status permissive now let's move into the tweaks we have the first are uh, the aicp extras which come with the ROM you are a many of tweaks you can tweak your device and you can do various customization to enhance the look also we have all these customizations in many of the USB devices also we get the navigation bar you can enable the hardware keys are enabled by default so you cannot turn them off but you can uh, turn on the uh, navigation bar but the hardware keys will remain uh, on only and we do not get the illuminate buttons option like the buttons won't illuminate any time all the other things are same the display and everything is uh, same only status bar and all those tweaks are same developer options are enabled by default also you can uh, install the G apps if you want to use this as a primary ROM and it's really cool ROM very fast awesome let's see the RAM management how it is done memory and really good freeze 1.2 gb that is really awesome i have not seen as i just booted this and just was playing around this a little bit uh mb of ram is uh, i think wasted but uh, i've opened apps and they open real quick this is the camera the dialer normal uh, we get these apps in Lineage OS. so this was the review of the galaxy s5 with running aicp 12.1 one and if you want to download this rom for your device the links are below in the description below just uh, yes uh, download them accordingly and you can get this aicp2 also the open j apps are uh, also provided down below in the description so uh, bye and those who have seen the review just go goodbye and now we'll just install this rom installation process is very easy just power off your device or you can directly reboot it into the recovery mode and you need a TWRP recovery, any. Now after your device gives haptic feedback or not, just press this volume up and home button and the power button. Your device will boot into recovery mode. So the installation process is almost same and for all devices. No need to wipe. Dalvik system data cage preload okay only these parts going to install the ICP and also this uh, G apps which I have provided down below so just install them and swipe to reboot so uh, goodbye guys and if you really like this video press the like button and if you're not press the dislike button also the feedback will be in the comment section and all those comments all those five four any comments will be in the comment section only so goodbye and i will i will see you guys in the next video goodbye till then please subscribe bye